All right, so now let's talk about SQL commands. In SQL, we have around 12 main commands and 900 different keywords. Of course, I will not be explaining all of them. Instead of that, in our tutorials, I will be focusing on the most used SQL commands and statements that I use in my projects in the last 10 years. To make our life easier, SQL commands are divided into different groups depending on their purposes. All right, let's start with the first group, Data Definition Language DDL. As the name suggests here, you will find all the commands that allow you to define your database, like creating tables, dropping columns, changing tables, anything that can change the structure of your database. Underneath this group, you can find commands like create, which helps you to create anything new in the database, like create a new table, create a new view, store procedures, and so on. One more we have here, the drop commands that allow you to delete one object from your database. And the last one, alter. It helps you to edit the structure of your database, like altering one table to change a column or to add a new column. Okay, so now to the second group, we have data query language DQL. It contains only one command and that's enough. It's called the select command. Select helps you to retrieve your data from your database. Select is the most important command that we have in SQL and the one that you need to master in order to be good in SQL. In my tutorials, I will be explaining everything about the SQL select statements because if you start working with SQL, you will be end up writing tons of select statements. So don't worry about it. All right, let's go now to the next group. We have data manipulation language DML. DML contains all the SQL commands that you could use in order to manipulate your data inside your database. So we have commands like insert in order to insert new data inside your tables, or we have delete to delete some data from your tables or update to update the content of existing data inside tables. So as you see, it is really easy. The name tells everything. All right, so now we have two groups of command that is really more for SQL database administrators. So the next one, we have data control language DCL. DCL contains SQL commands that allows you to give access to specific user to your database or to tables or schemas and so on. So here we have two commands, grants. You could use grants to give someone an access to your objects in databases or revoke to remove such access from specific user. Okay, so now to the last group that we have, the transaction control language TCL. In TCL, you will find the SQL commands that's gonna help you to manage the database transactions in order to maintain integrity of your data. So here we have commands like commit in order to save the changes in your database, rollback to restore the database to the last commit or to the last save point. If you have some errors, you could use that. Save point, you can define save points in the transactions, which you could use it later to roll back. All right, so now about those names, DDL, DQL, DCL, TCL, and so on, you don't have to memorize them. Maybe only the important one is DDL. I sometimes hear it in the project. So if someone says, I will be creating some DDL scripts, that means he or she gonna create SQL statements to change the structure of the database, like creating a new table or dropping something. All right, so in our SQL tutorials, we will be focusing on the first three groups of the SQL commands. We will start with the most famous one, the SQL select statements. And after that, we're gonna deal with all those DDL scripts. And finally, I'm gonna explain insert, delete, and update. All right, so that was the main types of SQL commands. Next, you will learn the basic elements of SQL statements. And if you like this video and my work and you want to support the channel, then subscribe, like, and comment. And in the video description, you will find a link to free SQL materials like the database and the data of this tutorial, the SQL sheet sheet, and as well, all the presentations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.